Welcome back to the my channel. In today's video, I'll be showcasing 7 mods that will drastically change your Skyrim gameplay experience. These mods are not your typical graphics or weather enhancements, but rather mods that completely overhaul certain aspects of the game to make it feel like a modern RPG. So please watch the video until the end. Then let's begin. The first mod I'll introduce to you is Requiem the Role-Playing Overhaul. This mod changes nearly every aspect of the vanilla game, including basic gameplay concepts such as combat, magic and player statistics, rebalances items across the game world, introduces interface and aesthetic treatments, and so much more. Taken as a whole, Requiem creates a vastly different playing experience compared to vanilla Skyrim it encourages more intelligent, tactical play, allows for creative, emergent game styles, and gives the player a much more enriching and rewarding path of character growth inside the game world. There are a total of three things you need to know in advance of this mod that the creator is talking about. 1. Requiem requires a new game The changes made by Requiem are far too extensive to apply to an existing save file. 2. The lack of modular. ESP is intended, and the whole mod consists of a single ESP. This ensures that everything in the game intertwines correctly, that everything fits perfectly together as intended. And 3. While the mod is not modular, Requiem features several user-requested options found in the mod configuration menu. As a result, this mod completely changes the way you level up and allocate perks, making the game much more challenging and rewarding. It also adds new enemies, weapons, and armor to the game, making the world of Skyrim feel much more immersive. Next up is the Campfire Complete Camping System mod. This mod adds a whole new level of immersion by allowing you to set up campfires, cook food, and sleep in the wilderness. It also adds new survival mechanics such as hunting, trapping, and fishing. This mod allows you to collect materials to build a campfire yourself, and you can independently improve your skills through the campfire. You can craft or buy camping equipment using items from the world around you, which you can set up in a campfire to give your survival an edge. Now you have to gather ingredients in the surrounding area to activate the campfire, so you'll always be on the lookout, and you'll be looking for rabbits and deer that you wouldn't normally pay attention to in order to survive. You don't have to defeat Alduin to become a world hero. You won't necessarily have to defeat huge creatures. Because The Elder Scrolls is a game that opens up all play possibilities to you through mods, it will also be attractive to play the game with your own unique survival concept through Campfire mod. The third mod I'm going to introduce to you is Lucian mod. This mod adds a fully voiced companion to the game, complete with his own backstory and quests. Lucian is a highly customizable companion, and you can even choose his appearance and equipment. Lucian Flavius is a fully voiced imperial follower with over 5,000 lines of immersive, lore-friendly dialogue. A scholar by trade, Lucian is visiting Skyrim on an expedition and may be found looking for a traveling companion in Dead Man's Drink, in Falkreath. Though he is something of a coward when you first meet him, with barely enough combat skill to hold a sword, he will dynamically learn from you as you travel together, gaining both strength and confidence until he grows into a hero in his own right. Lucian has his own follower system, so does not contribute towards your follower count. He is essential while he travels with you, although should you choose, you can kill him. He starts at level 10, but will increase in skill as he travels with you, learning both from you and by himself over time. Initially, he knows frostbite, flames and healing, though you can teach him further spells from a select pool if you have a copy of the spell tome to give him. All his spells can be toggled on and off once he has learned them should you no longer wish him to cast them. His combat style is customizable, and he can fight as a warrior, mage or archer in addition to his own default all-rounder style. The fourth mod I will introduce to you is Immersive World Encounters. Immersive World Encounters leverages the existing framework from Set Lisette to add around 100 new random events to diversify exploration in Skyrim. These new events will start happening randomly the moment you install into the game, even without any new save data. 
In this mode, 28 voice actors are mobilized, the voices of the NPCs are very natural, and random events and random quests can be conducted with the NPCs. With this mod, you'll witness a lot more variety and interesting encounters every time you walk the same path from city to city and from dungeon to dungeon. The mod achieves this by simply making use of the pre-existing framework that vanilla Skyrim uses, without reducing your performance in wilderness by introducing confusing new mechanics. Therefore, if the existing Skyrim playtime is too long and now the quest feels boring, please try adding something new with this mod. The fifth mod I will introduce to you is Sunhelm Survival and Needs. Sunhelm is a survival and needs mod that tries to stay as streamlined as possible, while still including a full set of features to work with. Customization is an important factor with this mod, and almost every aspect can be tweaked or toggled in the MCM menu. And Sunhelm is an all-in-one survival and needs mod. It includes many features such as hunger, thirst, fatigue, and even hypothermia mechanics all while attempting to stay as streamlined as possible. This mod provides widgets to conveniently check hunger, thirst, fatigue on your screen in real time. You can check the current state of your character in real time through the color of this widget. Sunhelm has the least amount of mod conflicts, while providing maximum functionality for basic human needs. Therefore, it is the most highly rated mod among the basic desire mods. The sixth mod to introduce to you is Apache Divine Elegance Store. This mod adds a new store to the game, where you can buy new hairstyles, beards, and makeup. It also adds new NPCs to the store, making it feel like a real place. This shop can be found around Old Herolden near Rorikstead. This shop is run by a total of three NPCs and sells all kinds of costumes for male and female characters. In addition, the store also sells unique costumes such as earrings, fingernails, amulets, masks, and belts. All outfits in this mod have weight slider support, inventory models and ground objects. And all outfits with armor ratings can be crafted and upgraded. The last mod I want to introduce to you is, Book Cover Skyrim. Book Cover Skyrim is a high-quality retexture of all the readable books, journals, and notes in vanilla Skyrim and all three DLC. It gives each book and journal its own unique cover and adds many additional paper styles to the notes. Spell tomes are included in the mod with optimized meshes and a replacement texture for each school. The treasure maps have all been hand-drawn and the rubbing of the dragonstone is included too. This mod adds new book covers to the game making the books in Skyrim feel more unique and interesting. It also adds new books to the game, adding more depth to the lore of Skyrim. That's conclude the video about 7 game-changing Skyrim mods to revitalize your gameplay experience. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. Then see you next time.